The moving trucks are back, college students are starting to return to Boston, and some of them are learning a hard lesson right away. Students who live far away have been sending money to landlords for apartments that they've never seen in person. And in some cases, the apartments don't actually exist. Lauren Lomachik takes a closer look at how this crime works and how to avoid becoming a victim. It looked really nice. Uh, had like free parking and included utilities. Will Dowsett thought he'd found the perfect apartment on Craigslist. The Boston University student was back home in Wisconsin when he found the studio unit listed online. He worked out the details with the landlord and wired the money. Uh, it was $4,200, so it was first and last month and then a security deposit. So it was a hefty chunk of change for sure. But when Will drove up to the Beacon Street address, something didn't add up. Emailed him email wasn't working, wasn't answering his phone, uh, kind of put the pieces together at that point that it was probably too good to be true. With college moving upon us, the scams are multiplying. Cambridge police say they've had at least 10 residents fall victim to Craigslist apartment scams this summer. Boston's Inspectional Services Division has also recorded victims. They advise students never to wire money sight unseen for any apartment found online. But for Will, it wasn't so easy. People coming from out of state or, you know, out of country, they can't really send someone over to look at the apartment. Will did talk over cell phone to the Craigslist poster, but we traced that cell phone number and it's linked to an address in Cambridge that doesn't exist. In fact, the same pictures Will saw are still being used to advertise other phony units. Do you have any hope of getting that money back? Uh, it doesn't look good. And so instead of living here, Will is couch surfing, realizing his perfect apartment is in fact the perfect cautionary tale. In Boston, Lauren Lamanchek, WBZ News.